the key central message is that agriculture needs to be included in the negotiating outcomes of the UNFCCC. If you look at the documents that have been written so far, agriculture is the missing word. There's a lot of emphasis on uh, reducing greenhouse gas emissions from the energy sector and increasingly from the forestry sector. Um, but agriculture, while an important contributor to greenhouse gas emissions, and also has a potential role to play in mitigating greenhouse gas emissions, has really not received much attention in the negotiating process. There are three main messages that we want to take to the negotiators. The first one is that agriculture will be affected by climate change. There's no question about that, but there's considerable uncertainty about where the effects will occur and how serious they will be. We can expect higher temperatures, we can expect more precipitation and more extreme events. But if you are a farmer, you want to know whether or not the climate is going to change on your farm, not someone else's. And if you're a policymaker, you want to know whether the effects in your country are going to occur in the north, the south, the east, or the west. So we need to have more information about where climate change changes will take effect and, and how they will affect agriculture, and particularly how they'll affect the forest. So that's number one. Number two, regardless of what we do, there will be some effects of climate change on agriculture. And so any funds that are set aside as part of the negotiating outcomes for adaptation need to include agriculture. We need to think about new um, crop varieties, we need to think about physical infrastructure that will make farm uh, activities more resilient to climate change. We need to think about new institutions, both domestically and internationally, that will help agriculture, and especially the poor people that rely on agriculture in the developing world, to be able to deal with climate change. So that's message number two, adaptation funding outcomes from the negotiations. Number three is that Agriculture is an important contributor to greenhouse gas emissions around the world. Something like 15% uh, of total emissions come from the agricultural sector. And the share is larger in the developing world. But agriculture also has a unique role to play in absorbing carbon from, that's emitted from other sectors. So when we think about mitigating greenhouse gas emissions as we go forward in time, we need to think about funding modalities that include the developing world. This is programs to help the poorest of the poor reduce their emissions and to get on a sustainable growth path that reduces the amount of greenhouse gas emissions that they emit going forward. But we also need to think about mechanisms that can fund uh, cost-effective mitigation in the developing world. Fund it's to help farmers uh, increase their soil carbon, increase above ground carbon, change to cropping systems that capture more greenhouse gases and emit fewer of the greenhouse gases that do come from the agriculture sector. There's no question that climate change will impact women in agriculture. That, those impacts depend, of course, on the nature of the effects in the developing world, and women's roles in agriculture vary around the world. But it's important to realize that the first and most important outcome is to get agriculture included as part of adaptation and medication expenditures or funding programs. Um, and uh, negotiating outcomes. If we include agriculture, we also have the resources to help women in agriculture adapt to climate change.